This video is sponsored by PCBWay. More about that later. I'm not good at taking risks. I mean, I haven't been in the past, but have you ever looked at your life and thought there must be something more to it? I have for a long time and recently we decided to sell the house and move to a farm with the goal to work less and have more time for family and our passion making stuff. And I think that in order to feel good about life, you need to take more risks. I am trying out a new project today, making a brass comb on the CNC. If you're new to CNC's, they are basically a computer controlled router that can cut and engrave stuff. Around two years ago, I designed a beard comb, this one, and now I want to try to make it out of brass. And I redesigned it a little bit to have a bottle opener and a small hole for attaching it to a strap. So now I need to see if the X-Carve can handle the brass. Let's give it a go. I have some plastic protecting the spoil board because I'll be using oil to keep the tool cool. And I don't want that spilling all over the wasteboard. I've used double-sided tape to hold down the brass, but I also added three screws to keep it extra flat. I want it to stay as flat as possible. When talking about risk taking, I'm not talking about the adrenaline type risks like parachuting or rock climbing without security. I'm talking about life changing risks, you know, moving to a new place, investing your money into something you really want or getting rid of all your stuff like a true minimalist. I was always influenced by Steve Jobs commencement speech where he said that he looked himself in the mirror every day and asked do I want to do the things I'm going to do today? And whenever the answer was no a couple of days in a row, he knew he needed a change. And whenever the answer has been no for too many days in a row, I know I need to change something. And that's the exact conclusion that we came to as well. We need to make a change. We need to risk it. But usually about risks, the obstacles come to mind early on and suppress the thoughts and dreams. And money is a big one of those obstacles. How can we ever be able to afford something like this? And that has prevented us in the past, but now I think we have a plan. So the CNC is working and it's going really well, but I'm also running this really slow. This project is going to take more than two hours according to the CNC software. So I will just have to price the comb accordingly. So instead of taking all the risk in one go, we're taking it slow. We're moving in one year. That will give us time to plan and to come up with ideas on how to make it work. And taking lower risks also means that we can test it out and see where it takes us without risking everything all at once. So instead of just selling the house and moving directly, we're starting a small business selling the stuff that we make while still working our full-time jobs. And the beauty of taking risks is that we now feel re-energized in a way that I've never felt. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen, right? Living without some risk taking is boring. Nothing will ever come out of that. Everyone doesn't have a CNC and that brings us to today's sponsor, PCBWay. Not only do they manufacture and produce PCBs, but they also offer CNC, machining, milling and 3D printing. So I uploaded my comb to their website and I chose brass as the material and I also chose a surface finish and then they could make it for me. And here it is, um, their copy looks really nice. It is soft and the engraving is there as well. I'm really impressed. So if you have an idea like mine and you want to try that idea out, give PCBWay a visit. Thanks PCBWay, now back to the video. All right, so the CNC is done and the comb is looking good. I need to sand it a bit, so let's do that. So when we had gone through the worst case scenario, like not getting a job, not earning any money, having to sell the house, 
we realized that there are solutions to that as well. I mean, in the worst, worst case scenario, we would have to move back to our parents for a while. And the thing that I would never really get over if we didn't try this thing is that I would constantly ask myself, what if? Well, here it is. I think it looks really nice. I'm really happy with this project and the X-Carve can actually do some brass work, uh, even if you have to go really slow. But I'm really happy about this thing. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.